Previously, there are people that believes about geocentrism, especially the Muslim astronomers, and the Roman Catholic Church. In this video, the continuation of questions will be answered on why the geocentric model is no longer the correct model, instead the heliocentric model. Is it become hard to the heliocentric astronomers to publish their models? Why? Does the word heliocentric and geocentric is really existing during the inventions of the different models? That will be the discussion on the third part of our topic, about the different theories of heliocentric and geocentric and their history. Before we proceed, if you could back on part 1, there are ancient astronomers that create their geocentric models, like Anaximander, Plato, and Aristotle, so if you could think that, is there ancient astronomers who already created their heliocentric model? Who are they? First are the Pythagoreans. Pythagoras is an Ionian Greek philosopher, and founder of Pythagoreanism. Pythagorean philosopher named Philolos, during 390 BCE, taught that the center of the universe is the central fire, which the Earth, Sun, Moon, and planets revolve in uniform circular motion. Second is Heraclides. Heraclides said about the rotation of the Earth explained an apparent motion of the celestial sphere. It was used to tell that the planets Mercury and Venus revolves around the Sun. Third is Rostarchus. Rostarchus developed the heliocentric model of Pythagoras in 3rd century BCE. He calculated the size of the Earth and also the distance to the Sun. Now we know now that there are astronomers from ancient times that create and propose their heliocentric model. On Renaissance, there are also astronomers who will propose their heliocentric model, and will found out that geocentrism is false. Who are those astronomers? First is Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei invented his own telescope that can view the Jupiter, as the farthest view. He started to observe the outer space from his telescope in the year 1609, and he made and published the small book named Sidereus Nuncius, or in English, The Starry Messenger. That book includes about some of his discoveries. 1. He found that there are mountains on the moon. 2. Lesser moons or satellites are in the orbit around the Jupiter. 3. There are very cloudy masses in the sky or that known as nebula, where there are many collections of the stars, where it's so very hard to see if there's no telescope. There are many followed observations added, like the Venus and the existence of the sunspots. Second is Nicolaus Copernicus. Nicolaus Copernicus is also a heliocentric astronomer, who presented his own heliocentric model or commonly known as Copernican heliocentrism, where it was published in 1543. This model tells that the Sun is emotionless, which is near on the center of the universe where the planet surrounds the Sun applied epicycles, same as the Ptolemaic system. Also in 1543, he made his own major work named De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, or in English, on the revolution of heavenly spheres. There were many major features on his theory, or known as Copernican theory. 1. Heavenly motions are uniform, eternal, and circular or compounded of several circles or known as epicycles. 2. The center of the universe is near the Sun. 3. Around the Sun, in order, are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and the fixed stars. 4. The Earth has three motions, daily rotation, annual revolution, and annual tilting of its axis. 5. Retrograde motion of the planets is explained by the Earth's motion, which in short was also influenced by planets, and other celestial bodies around Earth. 6. The distance from the Earth to the Sun, is small compared to the distance to the stars. From the theories of Nicolaus Copernicus, Galileo Galilei was believed to Copernicus, when he found out that Copernican theory is right by viewing it on his own invented telescope. 
On that time, observations of Galileo become difficult for the natural philosophers and theologians because of some contradictions from the ideas of Aristotle, Ptolemy, and nearly associated in Catholic Church. For example, there are moons orbiting around the Jupiter, which contradicts the geocentric model of Ptolemy. Jesuit astronomers said on the second part, are expert also in science, as they being skeptical about the new ideas, where they repeat the observations done by Galileo using the two available telescopes in 1611. On that time, some geocentric astronomers were verified, and repeated the findings of Galileo. They made an alternative geocentric model, or known as geoheliocentric model. Geoheliocentric model was proposed by Tycho Brahe earlier on that time. Geoheliocentric model was also known as Tychonian system, derived from his name. But what is the feature of this geoheliocentric model, or known as Tychonian system? Tychonian system is where the Earth is considered as the center of the universe. According to his model, the Moon and the Sun revolves around the Earth but, the five known planets, are revolving around the Sun such as Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Back again to heliocentric astronomers, which some of them defend heliocentrism, using some resources like telescope by Galileo Galilei, that he used it for his observations, and from the ancient studies exist that was used by Nicolaus Copernicus for his Copernican theory. Also, Galileo promotes, and advocates the theory of Copernicus. From those studies, and being heliocentrism, it was disapproved by the Catholic Church, on that time and their works have been banned that talks about heliocentrism like, the work of Galileo named Sidrius Nuncius or known as the Starry Messenger, and of the Revolution of Bus Orbium Coelestium or known as On the Revolution of Heavenly Spheres by Copernicus, that causes to them to publish their studies hardly. Until such time, Galileo faced the charges of heresy, because of promoting the Copernican theory in 1633. He went to Rome to face the Inquisition, and he was sentenced guilty, instead of lighter sentence. He was under arrest under Pope Urban VIII. Another happenings during that time, the scientific revolution occurs. Scientific revolution occurs during and part, and after a renaissance, where both mathematics, physics, astronomy, biology, and chemistry were developed, and this revolution emerges to the modern science what we have today. It was started when Copernicus published his work named, De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium which was said before. Scientific revolution concentrates especially to the growth of heliocentric solar system, with the help of Galileo Galilei, Nicolaus Copernicus and more. This scientific revolution gives realization to the people that supports heliocentrism until many astronomers prove in their works. After 300 years, Roman Catholic Church accepted the heliocentric model and said, Galileo was right, when Pope John Paul II officially declared about it during 1979. Those are some happenings during that time, but did you know that those words heliocentric and geocentric invented during that time? Heliocentric and geocentric was formed in year 1685 and 1686, which is part of scientific revolution. It doesn't really those words were used during the ancient times, but still, the concepts of those ancient astronomers fit to the definitions of those words. Heliocentric and geocentric are both representations of the solar system, on what is the center of it. It was already said in the first part of this video. This video tells us about that we have different thinkings, and beliefs, and we shall approve it, to become understandable, and reasonable, same as the astronomers do. In summary, Galileo invented his telescope, it gives a proof of something wrong on geocentrism, while the heliocentrism rising. It become not easy to the heliocentric astronomers to present and publish their model, due to the holy scriptures, and authority of the Catholic Church. Even that, the heliocentrism continued on scientific revolution, until to the modern period, which based to the heliocentric model of Copernicus, and Galileo. After 300 years, Roman Catholic Church accept their findings. 
that's how we know now, then approved on heliocentrism, and was discussed in different schools, academies, universities, and more about our solar system is where the sun is the center of our solar system. Thanks for watching, and listening. Did you understand the video? So, let's answer 5 questions from the quiz of this video. Number 1. Philoos is a Pythagorean philosopher who also created the heliocentric model. What is in the center of his system? A. Earth. B. Sun. C. Central fire. D. A star. Number 2. Galileo was right according to Catholic Church. Who was the Pope who declared that Galileo was right? A. Pope Alexander VII. B. Pope Urban VIII. C. Pope Leo XIII. D. Pope John Paul II. Number 3. Galileo invented his own telescope that can view the Jupiter. What did he saw about Jupiter? A. There are red spots on the planet. B. There are moons that revolves around the Jupiter. C. Jupiter has largest size than all planets. D. There is a real Greek god exists in Jupiter's name Zeus. Number 4. Nicolaus Copernicus made his own heliocentric model and own theory. Which of the following is not one of the content of his Copernican theory? A. Sun is the center of the universe. B. Earth's distance to the sun is less than the star's distance to the sun. C. Earth has daily rotation, annual tilting on its axis, and annual revolution. D. Retrograde motion of the planet is explained by the Earth's motion. Number 5. There are geocentric astronomers who accepted the findings of Galileo and, one of it is Tycho Brahe. Which of the following is not the characteristics of his geoheliocentric model? A. Earth is the center of the universe. B. The Earth is revolving around the Sun. C. Five common planets revolves around the Sun. D. Moon revolves around the Earth. To know your score? Why not compare your answers to the answer key in the description below? And why not share your score in the comment section below? Thanks for answering, watching, and listening.